Good morning, Modern Steaders. The chicks don't like me saying that. But I knew this is where we'd be finding Figaro. He's been up here quite a bit on the chick brooder. Keeping a watchful eye, making sure nobody goes after the chicks. So, I'm glad we built the brooder. The chicks are doing great. Let me apologize right now for sounding funny. I have a cold. So bear with me here if you don't mind. You're staying up there, mister. But the chicks are doing really well. The water is working amazing. I'm really enjoying the feeder too. I like the light, they seem to like it. Figaro is just enjoying his perch. That's his catwalk. Figaro, do your little thing on the catwalk, yeah. On the catwalk, yeah. He's giving me that look like, dude, you're crazy. I'm sure Figaro is going to be protecting the chicks all day while I'm at work, so we won't have to worry about anybody getting them. Olivia came down this morning and she wanted to hold some of the chicks, so she did, and she just kept saying, these chicks are so chill, they're so chill. They were cute, they were just staying in her hand, letting her hold them, they weren't jumping around, trying to get away from her, so she's excited and she's enjoying the chicks so far. We'll get some footage with her pretty soon with them. We are all kind of got a little stuffed up nose and a little more tired than normal. So what do you think of them? Huh? The tomatoes are doing awesome. This whole rack or tray, these are, let's see what breed this is. These are the gold medals. They're all germinated. These are the tie-dye. It's kind of weird. All these have germinated, but the last two rows, they're starting to come up, but they're definitely slower. So I think that's just kind of funny. Our peppers are starting to germinate some of the seeds, but they're lagging. But it's all the peppers that are doing that, so they're just taking longer to germinate. Our celery we need to transplant into bigger blocks. They're getting a little funky, but that's, that's us. We need to transplant them. So these are the subarctic plenies are doing well. I'm happy with those. Those are germinated nicely. And the peppers, you can see in that hole, they're just starting to germinate. So that's a good thing. So far we're really happy and excited with how all the soil blocks are doing, how all the seeds are germinating. The lights are working good. We have our old style light we're still using. We're just going to keep an eye on everything. We'll switch them up and see how everything works out. But it's going to be a good growing season. I'm looking forward to this. The chicks are all huddled up in the corner right now because I'm thinking Figaro and us talking. But they've been spread out. Hey. They've been spread out, they're not staying all bunched on top of each other, so that's telling me they're doing good. It's warm enough in the chick brooder for them, because if it's not warm in there, they won't want to leave each other. They'll be staying on top of each other for body heat, but they're wandering around, getting their water, and going and getting their feed, and then going back under the heat lamp, or staying over here. So they're plenty warm enough, they're nice and healthy, they're really good chicks, we can't see any issues with any of them? You think these are your chicks, huh? You're crazy. If you didn't see yesterday's video, I'll put a link to that video right here. That's when we got the chicks and we set up the chick brooder. We set up the feeder and the water and got them all ready and got them inside of the chick brooder. Um, if you didn't see that, We'll talk about the chicks in an upcoming video and I'll give you more in depth on them. But if you go watch yesterday's video, it'll have a lot of information of the chicks and our whole brooder setup. Yeah, these chicks showed up two days early. Yesterday was my birthday and they were supposed to ship on my birthday. But they shipped earlier than the original ship date, which I knew. They still weren't supposed to come till Thursday. Today's your Friday, but it's my Wednesday. So we're not even supposed to have these chicks yet. So I was checking the tracking on the shipment to make sure when they were coming, and it was still saying yesterday that they weren't going to be here until Thursday. 
So Tuesday morning, it said they were in Pennsylvania at 6 a.m. I got a phone call at work at 1 p.m., and they were at our local post office. I was not expecting these guys. We weren't set up. We didn't have feed yet or anything. Oh, it was crazy, but it was fun. We got them here. They're nice and healthy, so I'm glad they're here. But, man, what an unexpected good surprise. And it was a great birthday present for me, too. We're going to get to our local transfer station and recycle some of this stuff. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to show you. One of our subscribers, I don't remember who it was, left a comment in one of our seed starting videos about Walmart selling little pressurized pump sprayers. They were saying they have gallon ones. When we went to our local Walmart, they didn't have small one gallon pump sprays, but they had this two gallon one right here. It was 10 bucks, so it's been really nice. I can fill this up with water, pump it up, and I can spray the plants. One thing I'll say if you get one, don't put too much air pressure in there because the water will come up with such force it'll spray your dirt away or it'll damage your plants. You just want to pump it up a little bit and hose it down lightly, but it's just nice. I don't have to have a little squirt bottle. Filling that up two times a day is kind of a pain, so this has been working nice. So whoever left that in the comments down below, thank you. Normally on Saturdays, I'll run to the transfer station and I'll get rid of all our recyclables. But this past weekend, my sister was up with her two daughters. We went to the ice castles. If you didn't have a chance to see that video, I'll put a link to that video right here. The ice castles were fun. It's more of a, it's for kids. We went to the ice castles about, I don't know, half hour away here in northern New Hampshire. They build them. You can set them up. They had a slide in, in there, which was neat. It's just something different to go to. It's a different video. It's not a normal homesteading video. It's just us having fun and showing you guys what an ice castle is. I've never been to one before. I hear Figaro back there. Pluto, he's crazy. You ready to go outside and do our morning chores? You ready to go out, Pluto? No, you don't like doing the morning chores, do you? I don't believe it. Alright, let's get the water going. Man, is it nice out. I was just looking at the temperature gauge and it's 39 degrees. That's like a heat wave here in northern New Hampshire. I think Pluto's having fun chasing some chickens. Pluto, what are you doing? Huh? You causing trouble? She's got spring fever too. Oh, I'm looking forward to using the outdoor kitchen some more. You can hear that. Sounds like I got tap shoes on, but it's just I undug my ice picks. That way we're not slipping around anymore. It's just you gotta remember not to go in the house with them on. They sound funny, but I took them out. I bet these chicks are dreaming of greener pasture. <laughs> They're ready to get out too. <laughs> what the heck was that, Andy? Someone scared you. Where you going, Pluto? Stay over here. We have been melting the snow, which is nice. One thing we're doing differently is I noticed the pigs are going through a ton of feed right now, but they're not eating it. They were just playing with it. And I think it has to do with them being bored. So I'm only giving them so much feed right now, twice a day, because I can't let them just waste the feed because they're bored. 
I mean, I couldn't get over how much feed they were going through and how quick. And then I, I'll show you up there, the ground is just covered with like minced up feed. So they were just, I don't know what they were doing. I think they were just playing because they're bored. They want out, but the whole pasture is ice right now. I don't dare let them out here for their own safety. So, good morning, girls. Yep, good morning. Well, yeah, see how in there, that's not mud because that's snow, but that brown is just all feed. They were just, were wasting it. It's not poo, it's crazy. Melton's a good thing. That means the maple sap should be running. Let's go check our taps and see how we're doing. Florida, don't take off. Hey, come back here. The tap we're checking's right there. This way. I can't believe how much snow we've melted over the last couple of days. Alright, let's see. Ooh. About half full. Got about a half full bucket in there. Can you see that? Man, that's exciting. Awesome. I'm hoping this Saturday we can do some boiling and make some syrup for the first time ever. Exciting. Let's go check on this one. Pluto's playing on the compost pile. All right, let's see. That must just be the location of the tree, but there's not very much in here. A couple of inches. So let's go check on a few other trees. Oh man, it looks like I lost an ice pick. Yep, it's like a flat tire. We got a rooster who keeps knowing how to get in and out of New York City right now, so. And Pluto knows where to find them, so. That's where all the squawking's about. Oh, grass, what? All right, let's check two more taps. Curious to see how this one's doing. That's like a full bucket, really. Yep, let's see. That one's three quarters of the way full. Ready? Boom. You see that in there? That's full. All right, we'll have to empty that one out. Not today, but still got some more room, but it's getting there. Awesome possum. Dog's crazy today. Pluto, come on, stay over here. Pluto. She just wants to run. Crazy dog. I'm telling you, everybody's just getting spring fever. That one, I'd say it's about half. A little less than half full. Nice. All right, let's check one more, then I gotta get ready to go to work. All right, last one. About a quarter of the way full. That's just funny how some trees are more than others. Maybe we'll be able to make like a half gallon this weekend. That'd be nice. Well, that's exciting about all that sap flowing. In the next few days, it's supposed to be in the 40s. Last night, it was supposed to get cold, but it didn't. So I don't know if the sap will flow too good today, but. <laughs> We'll find out. Either way, we have enough sap to do some boiling this weekend. That's going to be good. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that. Fingers crossed we get some syrup. But 
Thanks for coming along on our journey with us today. If you're new to the channel, that was a great opportunity to subscribe. And while you're down there, turn on notifications. And hopefully, YouTube will let you know every time we upload a video, go live, or post something to the community tab. Two other things that are great to do is sign up for our newsletter over at lumnaacres.com. I'll put a link here and in the description down below. And remember, we upload a video every day at 6 a.m. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.